and remember that is the difference between you continuing your 5 lakh rupee job today versus in a in a bad economy in a time when you are not going to get a hike at a time when if you try to switch you are not going to get a new job versus investing 2 years in a b school a good reputed b school that could potentially give you an average salary of say 18 lakhs or 20 lakhs or 30 lakhs because of this laxity in the in these 2 months it's possible that your starting salary has a difference of 15 lakh rupees so i have a question slash uh, statement to make and maybe if any of you would like to contradict me or debate or agree you know happy to hear your views but i think that um, 2024 is the best year to enter a business school why do you think i'm saying that yeah anybody who wants to go market will rise up recession will end there is an assumption here that there is a recession right now is that true okay what tells you there is a downturn in the economy because if i was looking at last quarter's gdp data we seem to be doing very well given where we are today like let me go on record and say that i don't think a lot of the top iims are going to be able to place the entire batch this year it's just not going to happen because there are no jobs out there right it it seems so counter intuitive when i look at um the stock market you feel as if you know we are in some crazy boom right don't ask me why that's happening because genuinely i don't have a real answer for that it's confusing for me too having said that i think my hypothesis is that there are certain sectors of the economy that are doing much better and then there are other sectors which are probably not doing as well uh, and services especially it services the entire startup ecosystem because genuinely there have been layoffs there have more than layoffs there hasn't been enough job growth um, and we'll probably see a lot more bad news in the coming days and that's okay that's how economies work that's how cycles turn this year was record applications for the common admission test and all the other entrance exams people feel as if you know suddenly mba is in fashion the reality is that undergrad colleges have not been able to give placements to people joining has been delayed everywhere so people really have nothing better to do and they see this as one potential way to get out of the misery um also the kind of aspirations that have been built over the last 2 3 years i think people expect a lot more than what they are getting and historically whenever we have seen this we have seen that um batches that enter in a time when there is a downturn eventually end up benefiting you know when they get out of campus i would wish that you are you also get the same experience and that you are lucky enough to ensure that that we ensure that the economy is back on track and jobs in the services sector in the it sector and the startup ecosystem um you know pick up again from whatever i hear and see there is also a slow down in the consumer good segment a lot of fmcg companies are also struggling it's great right now to not have to hunt for jobs and focus on yourself and build skill right so getting into an mba this year might be a great decision it might be a great decision even if you get maybe the second best business school and not the first best business school you had in your mind so just keep this in mind now for people who have gotten calls or who are expecting calls from business schools i just want to tell you one other thing which is that the biggest mistake you will make at this particular point of time is to take the next step in this process lightly just think about it right like you competed with some 3 lakh people across india to ensure that you get a chance to interview and for that you would have spent some 50000 rupees on some cat coaching class you would have spent about 6 months of your life at least studying for it unless you are a genius i'm sure there are some geniuses sitting in the audience but for the large majority you need to work hard right you worked really hard you've sacrificed going out with friends you've sacrificed work i'm sure that 
a lot of you who are work experienced guys your bosses are not really happy with your performance in the last year or so so after doing all of this <laughs> and actually cracking the exam ensuring that you have a profile ensuring that you have a percentile that gives you a call if at this point of time you take the process lightly i feel like it's a criminal mistake and you have to think about the impact of this next two months right i i i always tell a lot of people who meet me that uh january to march decides you know whether you are going to be a um you know a, a, in sports person terms an elite player versus an a, an okay player right because what happens is that um a lot of not so elite players they relax after they achieve a certain level because they are satisfied with that or they feel that okay now i have done enough and you know i'll sail through but then you have these elite people who will double down on their efforts who will double down on their investment time money to ensure that they crack that final frontier and get in because genuinely just think about it there is the enough examples of people who worked for two years they've like taken the cat multiple times gotten a call after that and then relaxed and then eventually realized that not only have they lost those two years they've also ended up making a mistake where because of this laxity in the in these two months it's possible that your starting salary has a difference of 15 lakh rupees and there are countless examples of such people so the entire vat pi bit is something that i would really hope that you take seriously it's probably more important than cat the odds are better as compared to the cat because you are competing with some 3 lakh people there now you're probably competing with 3000 people In some case it will be 5000 people do not take it lightly you will not be able to hack your way through this this happens because people look at interview training uh, as something which is soft right i don't have to learn formula for this i don't have to do effort of trying to conceptually understand something but things like communication skills things like ensuring that you get the interviewer to ask you questions which are your strengths things like ensuring that you are well versed with what's happening in the world around you why is it that there is a recession is there a recession data does not say so if somebody asks you this question in an interview do you have an answer for that or do you have a well formed opinion for that these are not easy things which you cannot solve overnight you have to really work hard towards that my suggestion would be that please ensure that you do whatever it takes to cross this final frontier there are also a category of people who come and say that oh i have gotten calls but these are not from the schools that i want to go and study in my humble request to such people is that first ensure that you get a final call and an admit from this places and then you reject it don't reject before even getting a call or a final admit offer just have this much humility i understand this again i'm saying all of this from personal experience by the way it's not like i mean i was also 23 at one point of time in life and i have also made these mistakes so um i by the way whoever is probably not known this already um i had like three iim calls and two other b school calls and i <clears throat> ended up converting none it was by an absolute stroke of luck that i got a waitlist convert literally one day before the session was starting at iim indore otherwise i wouldn't even have been able to say that i am an iim alumnus and i think it was purely because i took the entire process very lightly i thought i am a non engineer i'll easily crack this and also i did not get a call from iim ahmedabad so who wants to go to lucknow indore koi code right so that kind of arrogance was also there and i used to tell people that are i will convert it and i am going to reject them but i neither converted it i was not in a position to reject them and literally on the last day you know when i got a call saying that you know you might get an admission i kind of felt grateful at that point of time so i hope that you know you guys don't have to go through a experience like that and life has been kind to me as well but we have to learn from you know whatever mistakes we have made right so for all of you who've gotten calls from any business school please make sure that you 
give it your best you join whatever program is required if for example you have to invest 10000 rupees 15000 rupees 20000 rupees to train yourself better do that because those 20000 rupees you shouldn't feel in the month of june that had i invested that money you know i would be sitting in an i am bangalore i would be sitting in an i am calcutta or even that i would be sitting in a fms or an xlri please make sure that you don't have that regret at that particular point of time and remember that is the difference between you continuing your 5 lakh rupee job today versus in a in a bad economy in a time when you are not going to get a hike at a time when if you try to switch you are not going to get a new job versus investing 2 years in a b school a good reputed b school that could potentially give you an average salary of say 18 lakhs or 20 lakhs or 30 lakhs so compared to that any investment that you do today you know is absolutely worth it and it's it's almost like a like a call option right worst case what will happen is that those 10000 rupees or 20000 rupees will go waste but if you do convert it you will end up getting you know a lifetime of a brand and probably an extraordinary first job so i know i've spent a lot of time talking about this but there is a reason for it it is something that 80% of call getters make a mistake in every single year we've seen people who've gotten great percentiles have gotten calls and then they stumble at the final frontier do not stumble at the final frontier join whatever programs you need to and please put in effort if you were studying for 5 hours for cat every day study for 8 hours for vat pi